Hello, hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. All right, qué bueno. So, welcome to the ninth session of uh, the Spanish uh, crash course. I'm sorry, so I'm a little bit of the weather. Tengo gripe, so I have a cold, a little bit of a flu, but I'll be fine, don't worry. So, yeah, so I'm very happy to see you in here. And uh, if, if it's your first time seeing me, so my name is Amwer with TGV Education, and this is Spanish. Yes. So, yeah, so we can say that um, we are looking today at uh, past tense. And uh, in the previous uh, sessions, okay, so I'll put it up here. So one in one of the previous sessions, we looked at um, like uh, the present tense, okay? So yes, so and uh, we will remind ourselves a little bit about the personal pronouns and also how like um, the present tense looks like, okay? And uh, yeah, so this is like just for memory so that we can go into the class, okay? Into the session, okay? We are good, all right, okay? So we have yo for I, we have two for you, we have L, A, -Y usted, which is he, she, and you for singular. Then we have nosotros, nosotras, nosotras for feminine, nosotros for masculine. So we have we. Then also we have vosotros and vosotras for you all, okay? And then we have ellos, ellas, and ustedes, okay? So ellos, and ustedes is for you or okay? So yeah, so as you can see, we have some example of sentences there. So you can pause um, like the video and you can get to read them, okay? And uh, I'll jump straight into the session, all right? So mainly last time, I said that uh, we have mostly the AR ending verbs, we have the ER ending verbs, and we have the IR ending verbs. So we start with the AR ending verbs. And uh, in these verbs, I will just, uh, I think these verbs, we have seen them. So I'll just show you like uh, in different persons, first person, second person, third person, both in plural and singular. And you can see how it changes. Then on your, like, um, yes, on your time, you can try to like, uh, you know, convert these verbs into like uh, at least um, a past tense, all right? So we are using a bra to talk. Uh, as um as the uh, example of our sentence, I mean no sentence of so like our example verb, and we have uh, for example in first person we have yo I so you can say yo abre I talked so this is like um past perfect okay yes I talk then we have two abraste so you talk then el ella usted abro okay. So I know that uh, in present tense we have a bro for uh, we have a bro for like a first person yo okay but now we have uh, in past tense a bro means like uh, we are talking about he she or you okay not that then we have nosotros nosotras abramos then vosotros vosotras abraste uh, abra abra stays abra stays okay. Then we have um, uh, ella, uh, okay, ellos, ellas, ustedes, abraron, okay? We good? Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. So you can take any other verb, like for example, uh, cantar, okay, to sing. We can say, uh, cantar, yes, cantar, to sing. So we can say cantar, we can say uh, cante, we have uh, cantaste, then we have canto, then cantamos, cantai, cantar, uh, cantaris, then cantaron, okay, cantaron, okay? We good? Okay, excellent. So you can try out some other verbs and you'll be fine, okay? Yes. Then we go to examples in a sentence and uh, I'll read like, some of them and the rest you can try and see how they go, okay? So we have baile en la fiesta, de la noche, de la noche, okay? So I I danced at the party last night. Then also we have um, 
habitamos en esta, esa casa. Ah, ah, sorry. Uh, habitamos en esa casa durante muchos años. We have inhabited that house for many years. Okay. Uh -huh. Then I go to number five. Uh, pasaste un buen rato con tus amigas. So we spent a good time with your friend. Okay. 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 Then I'll read another one. Cocinaron un deliciosa cena anoche. They cooked a delicious dinner last night. Then also we have escuché la nueva canción en la, uh, en la radio. I listened to the new song in the radio. Okay? All right. Excellent. So we together, estamos juntos. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Okay? So now... You can read the rest of the sentences then using those verbs that were on the previous screen. So this one, so you can try to post them. You can try to make simple sentences or you can try making a two of the conjugation. And uh, yeah, you can comment them in the comment section below, okay? Yes, and if you get difficulty, you can always ask either in the comments or in the WhatsApp group if you are there and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Yes, and uh, now we go to the regular ER verbs, okay? So we look at the verb comer to eat. So how does this conjugate? We have comi, comiste, comio, comimos, comisteis, comieron, okay? We together, comi, comiste, comio, comimos, comisteis, comieron, okay? Excellent. So we can take the verb vivir. Okay, and we conjugate vivir. We can say vivi, viviste, vivo, uh, vivimos, uh, vivisteis, uh, then vivieron. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, yes, and we have some examples in a sentence. I'll read some of them and I'll say, bebiste un vaso de agua después de correr. Okay. Yes, you drank a, a glass of water after running. Then also we have um, comprendo la explicación del, um, explicación del profesor. He understood uh, the teacher's explanation, okay? Then also we have uh, prometí visitar a, a mis abuelos este fin de la semana. So I promise to visit my grandpa this weekend. Then rompiste el vaso accident, uh, accidentalmente, okay? You broke the glass accidentally, okay? We good, all right. Yes, so you can read some other sentences and also, you, uh, like I said, you can try out uh, uh, these verbs and you can try conjugating them. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Now I'll go to the ER verbs, and we have the uh, verb vivir. <laughs> vivir. So we have vivi, uh, vivi, viviste, vivió, vivimos, uh, vivisteis, vivieron. Okay? Be together, excellent. So we can uh, take like uh, the verb abrir, okay? Abri, we have um, abri, okay? Abri, abriste, abrio, abrimos, uh, abri, abri, uh, abri, abri, uh, hello, hello. abriestes, and uh, abri, uh, abri, abrieron, okay? Abrieron, abrieron, yes, abrieron. Oh my God, my tongue. Oh. Maybe because of the flu, it's a bit me, but yes, um, abrieron, okay? Yes. Then we have examples of sentences. So I'll read a few and we have, abrimos la puerta con un llave. We open the door with a key. Then, uh, partiste temprano para el apuerto. You left early for the airport. Then we have, subiste la escaleras rapidamente. You went up the stairs quickly and uh, discutimos sobre el proyecto en la reunión. Okay? We discussed the project in the meeting. Okay? 
Excellent. We get me together. All right. So now uh we have um, let's say simple sent uh simple story uh practicing about this and I'll read it. Okay, and uh, you can find a few vocabularies and uh, yeah, so you can also practice reading yourself. And uh, if you have any problem or you get stuck, don't forget, remember that I'm always a comment away. You can always reach me at the comments section or in the WhatsApp chats, okay? So we have, I'll start reading. So comments, comments all, so I'll start. So, uh, hace mucho años, viví en un pequeño pueblo, un día. Decidí viajar a la ciudad vecina para visitar un, unos amigos. Partí temprano por la mañana y tomé un tren. Durante el viaje, escribí en mi cuaderno y disfruté de mi pasaje. Uh, dis, disfruté de mi pasaje. Cuando llegué, Mis amigos me recibieron con alegría. Asistimos a un concierto en el centro de la ciudad y luego decidimos abrir un mapa para explorar nuevos lugares. Tuvimos a un corina desde donde podíamos ver toda la ciudad. Describimos El hermoso atenderse y tomarse a uh, fotografía. Después decidí, uh, decidimos ir, un, uh, ir a un restaurante y pedíamos platos deliciosos. Durante la cena discutimos nuestros planes para el próximo día. Subimos al el chain de regresar a Pueblo antes de que os oscureciera. Even myself, some ways. Oscureciera. Cuando llegue a la casa, recibí un llamada de otro amigo que me había enviado un regalo sorpresa. Abriendo la caja, encontré un libro que había querido, queriendo leer durante mucho tiempo. Fue un día increíble y lleno de recuerdos especiales. Ok. So, I know that there's a lot of vocabulary in the story. So you can try reading it out yourself. And uh, yeah, this marks like uh, the end of our session. So keep practicing the Spanish. And uh, in case of anything, you can always ask questions on the comment section. And I'll say gracias por venir. Thank you so much for coming and learning Spanish with me. And uh, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, follow TGV Education for more lectures and content. And uh, I hope I'll see you in the next one. So for now, adiós.